Alright, this is Tommy Shadow Plays Games. I'm back with another video. This time we're going to be playing uh, some more custom levels that Matt sent me. So let's go ahead and play a custom adventure. And the first one we're going to be playing is Around and About, which is somewhere on this list. There it is. Find a way to get to the star. That's great. Great instructions that I knew I didn't know that that was the goal of the game. Who would have known that to get to the star was the goal of, the, of all the level, every single level except the gem collecting levels, and, and the one level in the original game where you have to sprint with someone. This is clearly I needed that instruction. Come on, let's go. Okay. We have a gate that I can't get into yet. Okay, so our goal here is to open the blue gate and then open the pink gate. Seems simple enough. Okay, the timing thing. There we go. Okay, so there's our blue button and our pink button. I see another blue gate up there. Oh, but that's a different blue gate. This is the same pink, but not that. Yeah, okay. Different blue gate. And there's our blue key. Okay, so we want to open the blue gate. Oh, we have to get the spritter. Okay, so we have to do is get the spritter past these guys. Um, I don't think that there's any way to destroy those guys, though. And knowing spritters, I don't think that uh, I want to collect that coin and two gems just yet. Uh, so I guess we need to get the spritter onto the blue button, get the key, and then get the spritter onto the pink button. It seems simple enough, uh, except that I hate spritters. So thank you for sending me this level, Matt. It's the perfect choice for my upcoming birthday. And, oh, yeah, that's just no I didn't, I didn't create a load game. Hello. I didn't create a save game. But it doesn't really matter, because, like, how far did I really get? I walked a couple steps. Does, re does real life have a save feature? No, it doesn't. Save game. I say as I save my game. Are you sure? Okay. I don't know what save game anyone was. I just overwrote something. I probably overwrote a really difficult level. <laughs> Goodbye, Squitter. Load game. So, yeah, I, I don't really see anything else to it. That's just how it's going to be. Oh, actually, I missed some gems at the beginning. I just noticed in a spot where I, uh, in a spot where I clearly don't need the spritter to go. Save game. Are you sure? Okay, that's a bit better of a save spot. Um... You know, it would be funny if there was just like a hidden wall here that you could just get straight to the star. That would be kind of like, you know, those hidden walls you just walk through. That would be kind of funny. I mean, I know it's not how this level is meant to be played, but it would be kind of funny. Oh no, get out of- no, I destroyed myself in saving the spritter. I'm like a savior of sorts. This level has everything required to make me angry at a level. Okay, they just both fight, so everything should be fine. There you go. So you deactivated the blue gate. That's good. Any gems for me here? Sweet. Okay, now the challenge, I guess, the challenging part, is going to be getting him to go to the pink gate. So I should probably Save save the game. Are you sure? Let's see if I can go all the way around. So, do you see why I hate spitters? Because they aren't really... They don't really... There's just the dumb 
gameplay mechanic because it's so trial and error -y. There's no puzzle element to it because their behavior is unpredictable. The rest of the game is like, you know, you have to put the pieces together and solve the puzzle, but this is just walking around in circles trying to figure out how to get the scritter to move where you want him to. It's not... It, it's not... Okay, there we go. Now you activate the pink gate and everybody's going to collect these. And as long as you don't move... Okay, good. So now I should save my game. Save because game. that, you Are know, you sure? scritter's... The scritter's in the right spot. So whenever the scritter is in the right spot now, you should save your game. And now I have a key that I can open this gate, and that gate's open, and... Good! Alright, so I solved that fairly quickly. In fact, a minute and 40 seconds, not counting the times that I took to save. So now let's go on to the lost email. Uh, I, I was I was recommended to play these in a certain order. Maybe it's a saga. Maybe they should be in a hub world. If they're meant to be played in a certain order, maybe there should be a hub world for them. Uh, help the kind the lost. Uh, help the kind stinker. Uh, I miss, I mixed up the title and description. Help the kind stinker retrieve his lost email. This kind of reminds me of like uh, I, I've I've been like uh, finding these uh, 3D groove games recently for the Lost Media Wiki. And it kind of reminds me of the concept of uh, there's this fairly odd parents game that was made with 3D Groove that ten uh, uh, what's his name uh, Timmy has to go and retrieve an email that an embarrassing email he sent through the internet by racing through the internet wires. The title the title kind of reminded me of that just because it's something I've been doing recently, I guess. I don't know. Let's just continue. This is probably going to be your usual Matthew brand of complete absurdity. Just judging by the title. Okay. I'm going to call you Bob. What's this? Oh, there's the email. That's the email. Okay. <laughs> that's the email. That's, that's the logic here. Oh, hi, fellow stinker. Hello. I lost my email over there, and I'm not even going to introduce myself or tell, you, tell my name to you. I'm just going to give you an objective. How did you do that? It was sent to the wrong address by mistake. I see. Can you help me? Of course. Thanks, no problem. <clears throat> okay, so we have to retrieve an email that was sent to the wrong address. Apparently. Oh, wait, there's a button. What does the button do? It traps us over here. And nothing else. That's the entire point of the button. Thanks! That was... That was just fantastic. No, it might be, like, the last thing we have to do. Wait, what? Do we have a red key or something? How am I supposed to... Oh, okay. There's a bridge here. I, keep... I didn't even notice. Somehow. Okay. We made it across there. So this button is really my only option. So why did he even have it in the first place? Um... Right, okay, so that should allow us to get across there. Okay. I'm just checking if we can talk to the mushroom, because, you know, it's typical Matthew to put chat signs on whatever weird thing. I don't even know if it's possible in the, in the games oh, to do that, but I'm sure Matt can figure out a way. This would be Are a good sure? point to save my game at. There we go. Let's see. Well, that surely did something. <laughs> this part here. Yeah, I moved it back over there. Are we supposed to get Bob to go onto the cart? Is that even possible? I said that in a weird way. Is that even possible? Um, 
I guess I should take a moment to observe what our objective is. We have to get to this email, supposedly. I guess that means we're gonna have to use this orange cart to get over there. Um... And we have pop magic once we get to the pop magic, apparently. Uh, uh, maybe what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to pick up the pop magic and use it to activate this button once we have it. And then we'll be able to also activate this yellow button, which does... It opens that gate. I don't know what this button does. It's fairly nondescript. It might allow you to get back across over here, I guess. Uh, which would allow you to activate the yellow gate and press this button and then go back through the yellow gate and press this red button over here. Oh, and the orange button also lowered this orange gate for us. So that's a thing, too. Um, but then how do I open the red gate to get the yellow magic in the first place? I don't know, it's confusing. Um, maybe the Bob... Does this character actually do anything? I'm thinking it would be pretty funny if he did. I already saved my game fairly recently. There we go. Oh, wouldn't you know it, he actually does cross over here. Let's see what he has to say now. Hello, nice to see you. Do you need any help? No, that's okay, or could you stand on the red button? Well, um, I want to say could you stand on the red button, but let's see if there's any other dialogue, because that's, no, Hello, nice I'm just gonna you. say that's typical of Matt, but no, no other dialogue. He always wants me to talk to these guys twice. Okay, so he's standing on the red button. Now I can get that magic. So let's head back and get that magic. I can't actually step off of it on the land while it's moving, so that's not something that's not something that I can do. That would be fairly interesting if I could do that, because I wouldn't know that you can do that. So now we can go over here and activate this button. And that's going to stay activated, right? Because it's square. Okay. Oh, it looks like now we can get the email. And that's... I forgot to collect the gem right there, but that's the end of the level. Alright. I forgot to collect a coin anyway, so I couldn't have gotten gold. Alright, so the third level that we're going to be playing in this video is Broken Dimension. Let's go ahead and play that. Should I even ask? O underscore O. P.S. This is your fault for breaking the space-time continuum. Okay. Here we go! An interesting description. Something is definitely wrong here. Yoink! Look! A fat blimp! What's cooking? Good looking? What's cooking? Good looking? What's cooking? Good looking? There's a, a very stretched guy over there. Woo. Apparently can't talk to him even though he has a speech bubble. Okay, there are invisible walls, I can't get to him. What's cooking? You Good smell eating? funny. Funny smells good. Yoink, boink. <laughs> that's apparently ice. This probably kills me, right? Oh no, that's my spawning point.
I can walk right through that. I smell a stinky man. Time to steal thy lunch. <laughs> oh no, me lunch. What? That looks ridiculous. Yum, yum, free bacon. No, potato. No, you're next. Uh oh, pickles. Hello. That's the end of the that level. Was not very good. Okay, so I guess that's not how you win. Start the adventure. I feel like there was barely anything I did to lose there. Is there like some game of risk here? Kaboom. Oh, okay, we have two options. I missed the screen. Um He's walking somewhere. What? <laughs> I am happy. Why? I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Let's get to it. May I actually just click this and hack and go somewhere? I don't think that the door to it's open. I need to do this action to get the door open. There's no logic here, but it's hilarious. He's walking somewhere. Okay, yeah, now we can go over here. So can we actually access that? Yeah, we actually can. We can just make it to the end of the level just like that. <laughs> oh man, that level's awesome. That has to be one of my favorites. Um, all right, so the, the last one that we're doing is Once Upon a Donut. So, uh, that is right here. Oifni, boifni, oifni, anthonoif. Yes, it's possible. Right, Matt was Get telling ready. me that one of these... Whoa, lag. Matt was telling me that one of these levels used some really weird trait of red magic. And considering that I haven't used any red magic yet, this is probably it. So, I don't expect to figure this out right away. I'm here to annoy you. Okay. <laughs> Uni stinker, you not know thy meaning of plop. Eh? Canadian, apparently. Cool, my cousin's Canadian. Well, free sausages for all. I like how you can see, because of how big he is, you can see the compression on his hat really well. Hooray, Santa Claus has arrived. What? Why did these always make some mention of Santa Claus? Is Christmas some favorite holiday of Matt's? I mean, it's a lot of people's favorite holiday. I wouldn't blame him. Just exploring. The, that's water? Are you kidding? How come I was sli able to slide over some of it, but not all of it? I slid right over that. Oh, okay, so if you start the level and you press right, instant death. Well, not instant. Here we go. It's sliding, and then instant death. I guess all death is instant to some extent. Because, uh... Because, I mean, there's a certain moment in which it ha- I just noticed that the lighting is weird at first. Then it becomes not- Yeah, it changes the lighting. Right, I think 
I didn't try pressing Hello. the yellow button. Really? Here to annoy me, you're Get doing ready. your job. Hello. I guess you would have to try again. Wait, can you not? You can't Load destroy thing. him? He's like a wheat distinker, you can't have him die? Is that the Let's reason that it. he's here to annoy me? Okay, so last time when I lost, it wasn't because I got hit by that mine. It's because Let's he got hit it. by that mine. Okay. I still can't go over here. Can't do it. I'm learning the tricks now. I'm learning you have to click on these things in order to get there. And there's no way through these barrels, is there? You know, he said that there was some weird trait of red magic that I had to use, but I can't even get to the red magic. Much less use it in some weird, obscure way. There's something over there. But it's not possible for me to get there, it doesn't look like. No hidden walls, nothing. Is there something to do with this barrel? Can't go down here. You know, you should take this level and the previous one that I just played and put them in a hub world. The hub world can be just a hub world that is just completely like an alternate universe when time and the same time and space continuum has been destroyed. You could have the first stage of the hub world, like at first the hub world could be normal, and then you press a you press a button and then all of these the purple like void things go up around you and it everyone's panicking and it slowly deteriorates deteriorates to get more and more weird in the hub world over time until the last level is just complete, completely ridiculous. So you could start with, you know, your typical brand of, you know, Matthew, uh, I'm here to annoy you, I'm here to steal your lunchness, And then you could deteriorate into just this. This would be, this could be one of the final levels. I can't figure this out. I don't know how to get past this door. It looks special. It looks different than most blue doors but I can't get through here to get this key for the blue door, which I presume I have to do. There's no way for me to destroy this. I don't have any magic that could destroy it. I don't have any way to go up there. Let's just use a spy eye and see what's up there. Okay, <clears throat> we have yellow gates. Oh, I bet that mine comes, okay, so that mine, that mine just comes flying out of there. It's so fast that it just comes flying. But how does it even reach here, though? I was wondering about that. The mine seems to come flying down from the sky. I just noticed this guy has a mustache. The, the mine seems to come flying down from the sky and hit this guy. But no, it actually comes from up here and hits that guy. Um, so the question is... How then can we open this yellow gate here and have it so that this mine, when it comes out, does not... <clears throat> but how does the mine even reach get down here? Because, like, there's barrels in the way. Can I watch the mine and see what path it takes to learn what path I have to take in order to get over there? Is that the goal? I don't know. Let's let's try it. I don't uh -huh. think I don't think I can step down and use this at the same time. Uh -huh. But yeah, it just comes straight down from there. Oh, it moves the barrels out of the way. Load game. The button seems to move the barrel out of the way, or at least one of them. Oh, I didn't create a load game for it. Come on, let's go. So. Hmm. Oh, no. 
see, but what's going on there? Now there are multiple of them. Um. Let's get to it. There are multiple of them. But there's only one there. Where are they being generated from? Uh -huh. What what kind of weird script tricks did you decide to do this time, Matt? How did you mess up the game this time, Matt? And how are they coming through here? I was hoping that this guy might get in the way, but no, he doesn't. I was hoping if he didn't if you don't talk to him, that it wouldn't be an issue. Woo! Can you actually... Can you step off no the ice thing. or something? Like, can you go on the ice and step off of it and go in a direction Let's you're not to usually it. able to? Load game. That, that's the kind oh, of no. junk that you see in these levels. Is uh, stuff Start like that, where adventure. it's like, oh, you can step off. It doesn't seem like it. Seems Let's like once you're it. on it, you can't get off of it. Load game. But then I have to be oh curious, no. how is the mine getting over here? It comes straight Back down. I guess this barrel moves out of the way? I know Matt probably isn't expecting me to solve this. I can't go down here. Like, now I'm just exploring to see if the edges of the map have any way around. What? Oh, hold on. I wasn't able to get here before. What? Aha! Huh? How did I do that? Load game. Oh no. It probably is something to do with that. How do how did I do that Come first time? On, let's go. I managed to get myself to a point where I could actually walk there Come on, even though let's there's go. ice. That's how I did it. It's not very useful, though. <laughs> it's kind of funny how it makes that noise, but there's no animation for it. There was, there was, I, I also took it a step further. What did I do? I think Let's I clicked diagonally. No. That's wrong. Let's get to it. I think it was a diagonal click. Actually. Ha! Ha ha! I can get over here. Now what? I can get over here, but it's not very useful. I can't go right. Can't go up, can't go diagonal, can't go down, can't go down to the left. I can't go up here, so it's not very useful. Actually, what if I go up here, and then now I'm standing, does this make any difference for the mine? That doesn't help me, does it? Great, going down here will probably kill me. That doesn't though. There's all kinds of things I can do with the water, but there's nothing useful I can do with it because this is a dead end. 
The only thing I see that I can use here is this yellow button, which is instant death. Let's get to it. I'm assuming I'm supposed to use that once I have red magic. I guess you would have to try again. Start the adventure. I kind of want to figure this one out myself, because I like, I like, it's not impossible like the other one I don't think, but like, it's probably something to do with this water, maybe it isn't, but like they always slide across this, except for the first one, which doesn't. Checking if I can go down in any of these spots. <laughs> that doesn't work. Oh no. Get ready. Woo. said it's obvious once you realize it. <laughs> I don't see anything you can interact with. Other than this guy. That guy over there. Oh, you can, there's more dialogue. Let's just keep triggering this over and over again. More likely to solve it by doing this than by ever actually solving it. Oh, this is... It was that simple. I had to talk to him a couple more times for the barrel to go away. Oh. Really? Really? <coughs> okay, well that's gone now. I have red magic. Okay. So, um... Try the most obvious thing first. Okay. Um. That, I mean, okay, that happens. I was trying to use the magic on him after that, but that Let's get to it. didn't. You know, I I couldn't right click in time for some reason. Okay, so you just have to open. Oh. I can't believe that you have to talk to him twice to open the gate. Can't cast it on him. Now Matt did say that it was due to some property of red magic. And I'm guessing that what I have to do is I have to 
cast an empty red magic somewhere and then have something go into it. Maybe myself. Maybe I'm supposed to have myself go into the red magic. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Hold on. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, you have to talk to him twice. For no rhyme or reason. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe what I have to do is I have to do this. Uh, I'm not. That's not what I was trying to do. I wasn't fast enough. Let's get to it. It may be impossible, but I mean, I'm trying things. I'm working with the hint that it has something to do with red magic. That's the weird part of this level. Ah, there we go. That did it. So now what? I'll just wait for it to burst. Yeah, there you go. Right. Okay, now I can go through here. And get to the star, maybe? Save game. You really Are don't you sure? know at this level. Very slowly. Dang it. Nice, okay. Nice cinematic thing. Apparently doesn't have much of a purpose in the level. Because wouldn't you know it? There we go. It's well done. <sighs> Alright. There's all four levels that I'm going to do for this video. So, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you again soon. So thanks for watching Tommy Shadow Plays Games, and thanks to Matt for making these levels uh, for me to play.